between parents and their kids in, in a lot of cases. I mean, we're talking, we're not talking about every family here, are we? There's a breakdown in communication, and you're saying that very strongly. Yeah. And the, the problem is that your parents aren't taking time to listen to you or to try and understand what you were saying. I see some parents, I mean, they'll get married, and then they'll get divorced, and then they'll get remarried. And I mean, maybe that other family, maybe that woman or man has got a family of their own and maybe that your father or mother feels that their whoever they're in love with is their family is more important than yourself. And you're an outcast in your own yeah, family. Yeah, you feel like you're a, you're a loss. I mean, you've got no one, so, mm. so you leave, you leave mm. and you look for somewhere where you belong. And someone who loves you. And that's where you turn to the streets. What, you leave because you're looking for someone who'll love you? Is that basically... You feel that you're not wanted. Yeah. You and you'd like to be loved. Is that what happened to you? You seem to be talking from personal experience. Yeah. Yeah, I left home when I was 12. I'm only 16 now, but I left home when I was 12. And I, at first, when I was at home, I thought it was my fault because of my mother, because she turned to dope, she turned to drugs, my own mother, mm. you know. And then my 8-year-old brother got onto it because she was doing it, and so did my 12-year-old brother. And so my boyfriend... How about you? Oh, I tried it, but it made me sick. So you've escaped? Yeah. yeah. I, and then I left and I went to Sydney and I ended up in um, a place called King's Cross in yeah. Sydney. And I lived up there for three years on a street. So you, you've learned how to survive the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, down the bottom here.